everyone, my name is Tori, this is Nova Life, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really cool video. I just did a Mafia Romance Recommendations video, and I'll link that in the cards in the description box, but I wanted to do a Mafia Romance Recommendations for beginners because Jen from the Book Refuge and a whole bunch of us are doing the Mafia Romance Readathon again. And that is happening May 5th through the 8th. Um, all of the information is on Jen at the Book Refuge Instagram. We're all kind of doing different videos depending on like kind of what we want to contribute for the uh, readathon itself. I'm going to be vlogging, but before I wanted to do this video because I realized there are a lot of people out there who are either new to like darker romances or just new to like organized crime and mafia romances. And the ones that I recommend are the darker, really like in-depth mafia romances. And it's not for everyone. And I totally understand that. So I wanted to do a video for beginners. So if you are new to the mafia romance subgenre, this video is for you. I hope you pick one of these books up. Personally, I think that these are really good books to start with if you've either read like one or two mafia romances or you've never read any. So let's just go ahead and dive in. The first one I have is The Bullet Between Us by Kay Dossal. So I read this for a reading vlog I did with Sam as a collab, Sam from Sam Reads a Little, um, and I read it and I thought, hmm, it's a little light for me. Um, and I think I said in that reading vlog, this would be a great book for beginners. So that's kind of where this video stemmed from because I thought, hmm, I don't have a video for beginners. In this book, we have Davina. Um, she is running away from something she witnessed in New York. So basically, she witnessed someone being murdered in New York, um, like in an alleyway, and they try to, they slit her neck. So it is a little bit dark in that sense and a little bit triggering. She is saved and she heals and they put her basically into witness protection and she moves, I think, down to Miami, if I'm not mistaken. But she moves away and she is put under the protection of these two police officers that watch her and they kind of like switch shifts. One's like 12 hours in the morning, one's 12 hours a night, vice versa. And one of those bodyguards, if you want to call it that, is Eilis. Um, and that is our main male character. And he is kind of um, undercover working for this like police station. He's part of the Bratva Russian Mafia. Uh, so yeah, he's like doing some things. And this actually opens up the world that Kay Dossal wants to create with the other books in the series really, really well, in my opinion. It is felt like it is relatively short. You dip your toe in a lot of things. You t dip your toe in a little bit of dark romance. She has a lot of things going on that she's witnessed, and obviously she has PTSD from that. It, you kind of like dip your toe into what the mafia is because he's affiliated, but he's the youngest brother. So he's still like kind of in, kind of out. He works for the police station. There's some things going on, especially with the brothers. You see the boss, who's the oldest brother. So you see a lot of things from like a not just dive into point of view which I particularly think that a person who is newer to the mafia romance subgenre would really understand and it's so easy it's not very confusing at all it isn't too dark of course the beginning can be a little triggering if those things that I mentioned are triggering to you but definitely check the rest of the triggers but I think this one's really good the romance is there she learns to fight for herself and he teaches her and it's just really great there's a cute dog in this book too so <laughs> if you're a dog person like I am I really enjoyed that so definitely check out this book if you haven't um I think this is actually a really good book for your beginners so that's my first rec and I love this cover it's such a gorgeous cover the next book I have is Luchin by Bethany Chris. So I've talked about Bethany Chris a lot on my channel. I love Bethany Chris. Um, she is actually one of the first authors that I read that wrote Mafia Romance. So of course, I started with Luchin by Bethany Chris. She has a million books. I think her bas backlist is like 60 plus and I've read most of them. And they all are, most of them are all Mafia Romances. Um, and they all kind of, they're different families, they're different families from New York, from Chicago to Canada to like everywhere in between. And they kind of intermingle at some points. But I started with Luchin. This is the first book in the Fildi Marcello series. So it's about three brothers. It's about the three Marcello brothers and Luchin is the oldest, but he is kind of the oldest in an unconventional way. Uh, I kind of went into this not really knowing anything, but I like this for beginners because this is more of a modern mafia take so yes they still get down and dirty but they the three sons are the boss's sons so it's like the underboss then you have they're all very uh like high up in the mafia so you get to see it from that aspect so they still will like go out and do the dirty work but they also are 
businessmen at the same time, which is more modern now. It's not like the 80s where it's just like straight, let's go kill people in the streets. You know what I mean? Like it's a little bit more modernized with this. And I will say that the female character in this book is not affiliated with the mafia at all. She actually comes from a uh, motorcycle gang that they have a problem with. <laughs> she kind of runs away from them. Um, and Luchin and uh, our female character, Jordan, they meet in a church. So <laughs> I laugh because I have read this book so many times. This book holds such a special place in my heart because it is one of the first mafia romances I've read. I think this book came out in 2014 and I read it in 2015. Yeah, so this actually came out in 2015. So I read it in 2015 because I remember reading it and being like, I cannot wait for the next one. So I basically have been reading Bethany Chris as she releases all these mafia books and all of her other series too so this one holds a good like special place in my heart i could talk about it forever it makes me want to reread this now because i'm just like feeling very nostalgic with it i love jordan and luchin i think they have a beautiful relationship um it is very equal that he is healing she is healing for reasons there's just a lot that happens uh so i, I highly suggest you check it out I would highly suggest this one for beginners. The next one I have is Broken Brain by Ava Harrison. So Ava Harrison is actually a newer author that I'm exploring some of her books, but I thought that this would be a perfect book for beginners to the mafia romance genre because I have said this in a review of this book. It was basically like Ava Harrison wanted to write a mafia romance, but not really research everything and put so much detail about the mafia. Like she didn't want to fully commit. She like dipped her toe in here and there. So in this book, we have our female character. She is a lawyer. I love that. And our main male character meets her in the courtroom, technically. Um, he sees her and she like winks at him and he's like, oh, okay. But he's there because someone he knows is being prosecuted. Someone he knows who's affiliated. So he's not technically in in. He's affiliated with the mafia or organized crime, I guess you can say, because it's never like clearly stated. But he's basically trying to get out. He wants to make all of his businesses and everything that he does 100% legal and not do anything legal anymore. So he wants to move into that, um, which of course you need a lawyer to make sure um, everything you're doing is legal, everything with your businesses are legal, what you're like, where the money is coming from, and you know, all this stuff like that. So basically, that is how they're forced together, and that's how their romance starts. They are forced together because she, he hires her as a lawyer and her services to basically follow him around and make sure everything he's doing is legal. So I really enjoy this. I listened to the audiobook and I thought it was really well done, but I would suggest this one because like I said, you get like that outsider point of view from like the lawyer, um, who's our female character. And she's like looking at everything with that more, a little bit more critical eye because she's a lawyer and she wants to make sure everything he's doing is legal. But at the same time, she's like, why is he doing this? And who is that? And why are they being shady about this? And she gets to ask those questions because she's trying to make sure everything's legal. So it is a really interesting take. I've never read a book like that, but I think it is really good for beginners, especially if you've never read a mafia romance book before, because this one like dips their toe. Ava Harrison really like dips her toe in a little bit of everything to where you get a glimpse of it, but you're not like fully diving in and being like, hey, here we go. We're, we're like balls to the wall with this book. So I highly suggest this one too. The next book I have is Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. A lot of my friends and fellow booktubers have said multiple times that Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark is a really good book for beginners. And I 100% agree. I think that this is a really good introduction to her mafia world because a lot of her mafia books are all interconnected. This is the first book in the Brutal Birthright series. So basically you have two rival families and they are, they have just always kind of like, been not at war because they haven't really fought fought I mean they used to be at war together but now it's kind of like in business type things so this book actually is one of my favorites in the Brutal Birthright series it made me laugh so hard <laughs> we have Ava and Callum and this is a true enemies to lovers mafia romance that when I tell you they go hard like she goes really hard sometimes so the first time that they meet I mean they've met before and they know of each other but the first time they meet if for real um it's like kind of in passing she is looking at stuff because they're having Callum's family is having a massive party at their house um her and her brothers go and just like infiltrate it see what's going on see what is see what the you know everything's happening about right and when she goes in she goes in i think to the library i think it is and she's like snooping around and she takes the a watch or something she realizes someone's about to come in so she hides behind the curtains but i think at that time she accidentally knocks over a candle and it starts to like basically catch everything on fire and she's like running out and she he sees her running out he loses his shit because he realizes that she's taken like this pocket watch thing that's really like important 
important to him and his family. It's just uh, a whole lot, a whole lot of mess, and because of that, they are forced into an arranged marriage. And they're because the parents were like, "No more, no more fighting. You two are gonna get married for the sake of the family, so you stop fucking fighting each other, right?" And they're forced to marry, and they hate it. They bicker and banter and everything. I will say, there's a strawberry scene on their wedding day. That's all I'm gonna say. It made me laugh my ass off. It, it's a scene that I will never forget. Like you have moments in books that you just never forget. That's one I will never forget because I was not expecting that. It is so good. So this is the first book, like I said, in the Brutal Birthright series. A lot of people can start with The Air, which is the first book in the Kingmaker series by Sophie Lark. I personally suggest starting with The Brutal Birthright just because the Kingmakers are their parents. Um, and there's a lot of, obviously, Sophie does a really good job in the Kingmakers of telling you information that you need from the, you know, the Kingmaker from the Brutal Birthright uh, series. But I still highly suggest reading this one first. And I think it's really good. The last one I have is When Heroes Fall by Gianna Darling. <laughs> Um, I laugh. I laugh really hard at this because I always recommend this book. If I can squeeze this book in anywhere, I will. So this is another book where it is a very modernized mafia romance. So Gianna does a really good job in this book that it's not like the traditional 80s. A lot of the mafia people have legitimate businesses now and they kind of, you know, they do some dirty work on the side. Of course, there's still mafia you know, gangsters, they're still bad boys. We love it, right? But in this case, um, we have Dante and Elena's story. I, a lot of people, you know, will tell you to read um, Elena's sister stories first. There's a trilogy and then there's a duet. Um, and then this is the first in a duet. I started with this book. I went backwards. I read this, the third series, the second series, and the first series. So you don't have to read them in order. Um, but Elena is kind of uh, made the villain in those books. She says a lot of hurtful things and this is her redemption book. So I will tell you that, but I still think that out of those those other two books, they're really dark, they're really taboo, they're really forbidden. Uh, don't really start with those if you're new to like dark mafia romance. That's a no-no. Start with this one. <laughs> Um, in this book, we have the grump sunshine trope, but Elena is the grump and she's a lawyer and Dante is the sunshine and he's the mafia boss. I have never read a mafia boss like sunshine like that. And I just adore it. I'm, I mean, I've tabbed the hell out of this book. I've read this three times and I just read it last summer for the first time. I think it was last summer. And I just adore this. Elena is such a beautiful character. Dante is such a beautiful character. It is such a beautiful story. They are forced together because once again, he um, is going to jail for Rico charges, which is like really high mafia organized crime charges. And Elena's sister, who's really good friends with Dante, asks her to represent him. I need you to get him out. He's my friend. I love him, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, all right, I'll do everything I can because she's my sister and that's how they're forced together she works for a law firm and the law firm's like okay you're, you're she's not a partner yet but she's trying to make a partner and they're like you have to go stay in Dante's apartment because he's you know under house arrest so he literally can't leave and come to the office so we need you to be there to relay information as needed and as quick as possible so they're forced together that way I just I love it it is so good it opens up because you see a like once again you see like an outer outsider's perspective but even though Elena grew up in a in Italy in the mafia world like she has a lot of trauma with that her father and her mother and everything like that so you get this glimpse of it so you get how the old world used to be and then you get the new world and what Dante's doing and he's trying to make her see that not all mafia men now are bad even though what her past tells her something else so it is a beautiful story oh my god it makes me want to reread re this one too so if you're new definitely check out this one it's one of my favorites by gianna if you know me and you watch my channel you know i've recommended this a lot i have the audiobooks are really really good too so if you are an audiobook person the audiobooks are fantastic obviously reading it physically is really good she did a really good job formatting this with really cool um chapter headings and pages so definitely check out this one too so those are the five romances that i think would be perfect for beginners who are new to the mafia romance subgenre uh let me know if you were a seasoned mafia romance reader let me know if you have any more books that you think would be really good for beginners i would love to know in the comments down below and don't forget we are doing our mafia romance readathon may 5th through the 8th i really hope you join us um i will have all the information in the description box along with the other host it's me there's like six of us that are hosting it. Me, Jen, Jess, Tiffany, Madison, Jessen. There's, I think that's all of them, but I'll list everyone down below. I really hope you join us. If you are a more seasoned mafia romance reader, I will also have in the description box my recent mafia romance recommendations video. So I really hope um, you check those out. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you subscribe for more content for me. As always, I hope you're living a novel life and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.